time for us to do a little bit of feeling old with Rewind, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Every week we look at the films that are celebrating birthdays this particular week, the 10-year anniversaries and the 20 years anniversaries. Let's start off feeling old by talking about the films that turned 10 years old this week. And we start with this turning 10. We've got The Greatest Game Ever Played, the Paul Walker, Jessica Alba classic <laughs> Into the Blue, and Serenity. Turning 20 years old this week, we've got The Big Green, of course, with the Sandlots, uh, Patrick Renna, and Steve Gutenberg is in there from Police Academy fame. Yes. <laughs> we've got the Denzel Washington film, Devil in a Blue Dress, and we've got Halloween, The Curse of Nobody Remembers This Film. Oh, The Curse <laughs> of Michael Myers. So, Christian, let's go down and start with you. The films that are celebrating anniversaries this week, which ones stand out to you? Um, I remember seeing A Devil in a Blue Dress and liking I'm sure if I watch it now, it would be a little dated, but I remember just being in awe mm -hmm. of Denzel Washington, even back then, 20 years ago, whatever it was. Um, but I think out of the t 10 years... It's great. I remember when, you know, just two things that you guys are all going to yell at me for. The first is how, as far as 10 years ago, remembering when Serenity came out, I've still never seen Serenity. Mm, I watched, really? I watched the first 15 minutes of it. I've just never been, I'm not the biggest Joss Whedon fan sometimes with, with particular writing and how he blends it in with sci-fi. But I, I want to go back and revisit because everybody yells at me that I need to go back and watch Did it. Did you watch and, Firefly? No, I just, okay. I just... There's just something I, I I know how many people love Joss Whedon and stuff with Buffy and everything too. I just his writing style sometimes to me just it feels a little cheesy here and there. But um uh, and and but that but that particular movie I want to go and revisit because of John you raving about Edge of Four as being one of the best villains mm -hmm. of all time. I want to go yeah. back. Um the other the other movie um on there Into the Blue. I can't believe this is the one that I've actually seen. I think all the <laughs> way through. It's horrible. It's, it's so so bad. It's so bad. But it's still Jessica Alba looks so good in it. So it's it's worth the watch there. Oh, no denying that. Mark. Yeah, Into the Blue came on like a week ago, and I might have watched 10 or 15 minutes of it. Um, and that's all I really have to say about any of these movies, because these <laughs> are the reason why September is not a great time for movies yet. And this is clear 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that we're not quite at Oscar season. But thankfully, this September in 2015, we've already gotten some good movies that are better than the crops that we had this past year. I saw The Big Green and the the Halloween, the, the, the return or the curse of whatever Michael Myers was marking Donald Pleasance coming back to the franchise. And some dude named Paul. Paul Rudd pops up with that movie as well. And I think that might have been he was filming that and Clueless around the mm -hmm. same time. And his agent, I think, had told him that he needs to do the Halloween movie because that's the built-in property. And Clueless is kind of a risk. And we saw how those two movies turned out. Yeah, for me, uh, Serenity is is the, the film here. I saw Serenity having not seen Firefly wow. at the time. But, it, you know, hey, it was a sci-fi movie, sure. whatever. I'll go see it, whatever. And as somebody who had never seen Firefly, I this is part of the genius of the movie. I was, I was not lost at all. I sat down, I watched, it set it up perfectly. I watched it, and I remember at the time, now this is 10 years ago, I said, that is the best sci-fi movie I've seen in years. And to this day, I still think it's, it's probably one of the top five or six sci-fi films of the past 10 years since it came out. It is so wonderfully done. The humor is fantastic. You have an incredible villain, a menacing, incredible villain. Surprisingly great space action sequences yep. that you did that I was not expecting at all. Um, and this is what turned me on to then go back and watch Firefly, and it kind of made me appreciate uh, appreciate all the war. And it is it is the film that introduced me to Chiwetel Ejiofor. And ever since I saw this film, I have been singing Chiwetel Ejiofor. Watch out for this guy when he gets the opportunity. He is going to rule this town. And it's, it took seven or eight or nine years, but it's finally starting to happen now. So yeah, Serenity is absolutely the one that stands out to me. Yeah, are you a brown coat now? Uh, no, I'm not a brown coat per se, but I, I am a big fan of the show. Right. So, I mean, I, I had watched Firefly and then, you know, they canceled it and then it took many years to do Serenity. But I agree with you. Like, it's, you didn't have to see those 10 episodes of Firefly to appreciate Serenity as a cool it science helps. fiction film. It helps. But it definitely adds to it. Yeah. Like, so when you when you went back, you're like, oh, okay, these characters, and you see like why they're in the film. So definitely see Firefly first, then see you Serenity. You Firefly first? Yeah, you'll appreciate yeah, Serenity yeah, if more. Yeah, you can. Yeah, if you can. Is it on Netflix? Yes, uh, yep. it is. Yeah, you can yes. see all of them. And, and believe me, I was just actually talking with Dennis, strangely enough, about Firefly this morning. I was like, I'm going to do four episodes, four episodes, two episodes of the movie. Do like a three-night, kind of just jam through them again. Right, I, I do been wanna, a few years. I do want to try because, I, I mean, people 
rave about it. Yeah, it's so much fun. It really is. Yeah, I've but never seen it either, so we have our homework this week. The funniest yeah. line in, in I think, all of Firefly, and only those of you who have seen Firefly will get this, I'll be in my bunk. That, if, if you know the scene... That movie, that that line kills me every single time. Thanks for ruining it. <laughs> yeah. don't, well, you don't know the context. Wait, right. wait till you see it. I was going to mention the the film that strikes me the best is Devil in a Blue Dress, and that's really really worth seeing. If you haven't, if you saw it many years ago, I I see it like once every four years or five years. Yeah, I've really seen it like four times. Yeah. So it's a great film. 